Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and today I wanted to show you how to find a hidden quest in Fallout 4, which will lead to a unique weapon, and how to find the lockpicking bobblehead, which will make lockpicking a lot easier. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you where I'm at on the map. I'm at Pikmin's Gallery. This is going to be north of Good Neighbor, south of Bunker Hill, and it will be northeast of Diamond City. So, let's go inside and I will explain everything you need to do or you need to know for this quest. Alright, so I'm inside now. When you first come in here, there's going to be some raiders talking about this guy Pikmin and how they hate him and they want revenge on him. If you actually look around this house, it's kind of creepy, but there's a lot of art and it contains a lot of dead bodies that are painted with blood. So my understanding of it is that he's been tricking raiders and killing them and using them as artwork. Now I'm going to go ahead and claim the reward. You will not actually get the quest until you get to the end. You have to make it to the basement. But here is the unique weapon. It's Pikman's Blade. Targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage. That's actually really good for a melee weapon. And it's a knife so it swings really quick. Alright. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get down to the basement. Because when you run over here, there will be a door and it's locked. It's a master lock. So if you can't pick that, then you can actually go to the third floor of this building, and there is a way to get down to the basement from there. But if you have the perk, you can just go ahead and open this up. Now I'm going to try to quickly run through this. When you're actually doing the quest, though, there's going to be a lot of raiders. So there's a lot of combat here. But I'm going to quickly try to make it there, because this will lead to the lock-picking bobblehead, which is the other thing I want to show. Let me try to figure out where to go. It is somewhat confusing, like I said. Now, is there anything else in this location? No, not really. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of loot and stuff, but I don't remember there being any skill books or anything like that. I think it's primarily just the quest and the lockpicking bobblehead. All right, so we should be getting somewhat close. We have to run past this part, go up these stairs... And then we have to run through here. I actually take that back. I don't think I'm all that close. I'm getting there, but this actually does take a while. And if you notice, there is a lot of dead bodies. These are all the guys I was killing as I was running through here and trying to get to the end of this place. This whole time, it was a mystery. I didn't know if this was a quest or not because it wasn't a quest on my screen. It didn't start up or anything. It just basically became a quest once I got to the end. Now, I don't see this guy anymore. In a way, I wish I would have actually killed him to see, like, what kind of loot he had on him because you could talk to him, and he thanks you. He gives you the key, and that starts the quest. Now, if you want the bobblehead, it's right here on the ground. So let's pick that up, and this will make lockpicking a lot easier, or at least it says lockpicking is permanently easier. So that's actually pretty awesome. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the quest. Once you talk to the guy, he'll give you the key, and then you can go back into his gallery, and then you can claim your reward. I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and peace out.